Hey guys, Noah Madar here. Again, you're with us in the Trader, the channel of me and Or. We are the traders. We are here. We are here to teach you how to invest in the in the U.S. stock market. By the way, it's uh, these laws are uh, reliable to any stock market in the world. But we are aimed to the uh, U.S. stock market, the biggest stock market in the world. So if you like our channel, please subscribe. Uh, send us messages to our email down here. Uh, also, don't forget to comment, to like us or dislike us, what you think about our video. It's really important to see any feedback and to know where we need to improve, what we also have to do, uh, what we can upload and uh, what video we can make for you. Uh, but very important, subscribe, don't forget it. Very important, very helpful to our uh, channel. Uh, today you here to uh, see our new video regard five guided points of any investor. It's not only a beginner, it's also investor with a lot of experience. That's actually, the, these five rules are what any investor, any investor that have a lot of experience will do before you buy uh, any stock or got into a position of any, uh, in any company. By the way, it's more, uh, it's more for investors, not for traders, not for uh, uh, day traders, because this rule are guided for a long run or a mid run, but not to intraday, because intraday it's more, uh, is more uh, by some small things that happen during the day and more technical analysis. Here it's more guided points regarding if this company is good or the industry is good or uh, how to watch it and what to decide to do with the company if you like it or not uh, so again before we start if we start please subscribe and also don't forget that you can email us uh, and i'll make and me or or we'll make new videos regarding your uh question or the thing that you are want us to do for you so first guided point is check the industry why i'm talking about checking the industry let's look about let's look at the malls in the u.s uh we know that there is a big problem uh, problem with the future of the malls in the industry in the u.s uh, market i uh, from uh what i know that the, the malls in the u.s are uh are divided to three to three uh, groups: the A, B, and C. A are the big malls, the the really fancy one uh, that they all will always work, and a lot of people come there also to hang out and go to restaurants and stuff, and not only to buy clothes. The uh, the B and C are malls like more for more uh, local malls and in neighborhoods and stuff, and these kind of malls are some of them. We call it uh, ghost malls because you don't see any people there, only ghosts because no one's go there. So these kind of malls are not really working and some of the companies that holding them are uh, just losing money by still holding these malls. And why, why it happened? It happened because of uh, the entrance of Amazon and online, online buying and people not going to the malls to buy clothes anymore. They're going to AliExpress uh, uh, and going to Amazon or eBay and they order their clothes uh, straight to their homes. So first you need to check the industry because if the industry it's uh, in an unclear time or it's actually in a decreasing time, it's better not to buy or if you buy, you need to understand why you buy it. If you have any special reason regarding why you prefer to buy this kind of, let's say, Westdale or Walmart, you need to understand why you're doing it. Okay, because this industry is in uh, in hard times, and only the, the great companies will succeed. It also you can see a really high ROI or really high yield just by holding this kind of uh, stocks. So first, check the industry. Second, check the owner. Check, checking the owner is something that uh, the professionals do. Why? Because if you understand who is the owner, and you know some of, some owners are questionable. You know the sort of criminals or mid cap criminals. You don't really know, but they have a lot of issues with them, and their their stocks can fall in in a day ten percent, and then go up in 10 percent in a day. And it's not really regarding the company or what he's doing. It's always about the owner. You need to understand maybe you don't want to go with this uh, kind of owner or, or with this kind of CEO. And it also go to the opposite. 
I'm I have a, actually a whole I hold some comp, uh, some stocks in the Israeli market because of one uh, owner that I know that everything he do he doing he doing it right and he know what he's doing and I actually know him from uh, some of our meetings when I when I, uh, I was an investment banker and I got some uh, money raising to his companies and I know that this guy know what he's doing and he's uh, straight and he's really reliable and. I can go. I can hold these stocks, and I know I'll make profit. And it always uh, make up for me. I'll always make money because of it. So I need to find an owner or a CEO or a team or an investors team that do some things and just go with this kind of company. By the way, also so some uh, some funds like Blackstone. If you per, uh, believe in Blackstone, you can buy stocks that Blackstone buy. Uh, you can find a lot of investors that. Well, you can see if Warren Buffett buy a stock or got uh, uh, some of the, got into the board of a of company of so, sort of company, the the stock is rising in the day after five or ten percent. It depends. It happened with Teva. The day after uh, Warren Buffett got into the board of Teva, the the stock rise in about ten percent, if I remember right. So also you can check the owner. It's very important and it's very professional. It's uh, also third thing: check the PE. All right, the PE in the industry or the multiple, the the profit multiple in the industry. Why it's important? Also, very professional. If you know how to do it, if not, send me an email. I can explain it in another video. If you are try to buy into the re uh, uh, some company in the re retail industry, and you think, oh my God, it, this company have 20, 20 points multiple, all right? And most of this kind of companies that are not growth company are already stable company, have uh, between 10 to 15% multiple. You think to yourself, mm, 20 points multiple, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit expensive bit high and you say no it's not the kind of uh, stock that I want to buy but then you go to the competitor stock you see it also a multiple of 20 even though it's a, a stable stock with uh, a lot of uh, experience and history in the stock market and then you go to another competitor and see it's 22 actually multiple this multiple is 22 and the other one is 25 and then you start to think oh my god this stock that I want to buy have multiple of 20 and the other competitors have 22 and 23 and, uh, and 25 and still other investors buying their stocks and like to hold their stocks then you think you need to think to yourself maybe it's not expensive it's even cheap so this is why you can look at the multiple at the profit multiple uh, of the industry and then to decide uh, if you want to buy the stock or not very professional and it's almost always working. Figure that. Look at the chart. Look at the chart. I know, I know it's not fundamental and it's not uh, analysis, it's technical, but there is no better than see it in your eyes. If you see company that always rise and rise and rise and rise and rise and the company is always in the growth, you don't want to buy it here. Because chart is not going like that. It's going like that most of the time when it go up. And if a comp if company is here, you can buy it here. You might be, you may you might even make some money. But why not waiting for come here and then go here? By all the laws that we talk about, yeah, you need to to go with these laws. But smarter to buy uh, not in the most expensive point. Even if it's a good industry and good multiple and everything is okay, it's always better to buy two or three percent from the top. Why not? We can have another two or three percent. Check this out. And watch the macro environment. Very important. Not a lot of investors know how to read it because there are so many indicators. And how can I go with all the indicators, with all the indicators and look about all the indicators? By the way, if you want to see a uh, right example for what I'm talking about, the macro environment, you can watch my real estate video. All right, I talk in my real estate video about when it's not the right time to buy a real estate, a real estate stock 
if the uh, the interest is go up because it's make the money more expensive and when you buy real estate you take it with a debt okay and you don't want to pay a lot about of the de- a lot on the debt you would want to pay less so it's very important important to look at the micro environment for example companies uh, industries that are going uh, that are doing well with low interest okay it's the real estate the real estate low interest low cost of money then you can take more loans and more debt right what it means it means that company that have a lot of debt or build on the base of debt and rolling the debt all the time are doing well when their interest is going down or in if it's in a, in their low in the low rate of the last year right so like uh, like real estate and like uh, also like uh, retail because retail if the money is cheap a lot of people like to buy more in the retails and it's better for their results uh, example for industries that are better with high interest are banks or insurance company because banks give loans uh, on the base of the interest if the interest is high they have more uh, interest they come they get, get back home and they have uh, high profits and the industry is uh, more profitable uh, the same with the insurance company all the money they got from the insurance uh, their insurances they uh, use it for investing in the stock market because that's what they do they roll the money all the time so they're better with high interest all right so you always need to watch the macro environment by the way in these days it's even better you can see a great example regard uh, the industry war of US and China like if you see a, a war between the US and China you know that uh, a lot of uh, seeds and vegetables and stuff that the company the countries like to trade between them it's not a really good place to be there because it's really blur and you don't know if they're gonna be taxed regard soybeans or if they're gonna be regard rice or also cars because you don't know if they're gonna sell uh, US cars to the Chinese you need you try to you as a smart investor you don't want to be in the middle of this war you want to buy uh, stocks that are not uh, re- uh, related to these two uh, countries Okay, so this is my five guided points before I buy a stock. I check the industry. I see that it's a rising and growing industry and not a decreasing industry. I check the owner. I want to see that's a winning, a winner owner or a winner CEO that know what he's doing as not, and not a criminal or criminal that we don't really know what he's planning for the company. I like to check the multiple in the industry and see if the company that I want to buy the stock uh, have high multiple or uh, or uh, cheap multiple regarding industry. Um, I look at the chart because there is no better than looking at the chart and see if the company is in the top or in minimize or in stable area depends. And I watch the macro environment, interest most of it. Also see if there is a gross days in the in the country. If there are there is silent and all the countries are going well together and not some war in the uh, over the corner very important to understand it so I hope you enjoyed the video five guided points before you buy your first stock or before you buy any stock I'm Normada I hope you enjoyed with the traders please subscribe to my channel comment like send me an email let me help you uh, get to financial independence make money and make money from the stock market can join me and or to our program we'll be happy uh, to help you and go come with us make money together and don't forget to tell your friends bye bye